Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, we have a bombshell testimony that could finally bring down Joe Biden. A new bombshell testimony this morning from former acting CIA director Mike Morrell, revealing that less than a month before the presidential election, then senior Biden campaign advisor and now Secretary of State Anthony Blinken reached out to Morrell asking to organize 50 current and past intelligence officials to sign on to a public statement which claimed that the Hunter Biden laptop was Russian disinformation. Wow. And there we have it. Finally, smoking gun evidence that the Biden corruption could finally be coming to an end. Now, what is going on? Let's unpack the meat and the potatoes here. So essentially what happened here, as we can see from this hilarious tweet where we have Joe Biden on the left, Hunter Biden all cracked out in the middle, and then Blinken here looking like uh, some disheveled civil servant on the right. Uh, it says, according to Jack Posobiec, former CIA chief Mike Morrell testifies under oath, I'll add, that Biden campaign and Tony Blinken asked him to orchestrate letter from 50 intel officials falsely claiming Hunter Biden emails were, quote, Russian disinformation. There are 50 former national intelligence folks who said that what this he's accusing me of is a Russian plan. They have said that this is has all the care Four, five former heads of the CIA, both parties say what he's saying is a bunch of garbage. Nobody believes it except the, his and his good friend Rudy Giuliani. Very quick. There are Nobody believes it except him and his friend Rudy Giuliani. It's pronounced there, Uncle Joe. Uh, no, it's legit. And it was legit. And this 50 fake signatures was not legit. Like maybe something else I can think of in the realm of 81 million. What am I thinking of? I don't know. I don't want to speculate. But this is major. Uh-oh, things are not looking good for Sleepy Joe and Co. What do we have here? Well, according to the New York Post, Attorney General Merrick Garland is the unnamed official whose sworn testimony before Congress is being challenged in a bombshell letter from an IRS whistleblower's attorney that also alleges a cover-up in the Hunter Biden criminal investigation. I mean, do they not care that there's influence peddling evidence in plain sight? that the Biden family appears to have been taking money from uh, foreign adversaries and pocketing that money uh, by uh, selling access to the United States leadership? Ma'am, we know of at least eight Biden family members who have profited uh, from dealings overseas. I think if you, you delve, delve into it deep enough, I mean, there's uh, prostitution, rings involved in this human trafficking has been rumored to be a part of some of this uh these these so-called companies that have uh, that have allowed the biden family to profit i mean it is it is gross and is disgusting about what has been allowed to go on that is disgusting and despicable but what do you expect from the biden family we have hunter's laptop from hell filled with videos of him smoking crack hanging out with, and I say that lightly, sex workers, amongst other atrocities. So, what is really going on here? Well, attorney Mike Little wrote Wednesday that longtime IRS employee wants to provide information to congressional leaders to, quote, contradict sworn testimony to Congress by a senior political appointee, referring to AG Merrick Garland, and also detail preferential treatment in the criminal probe of the first son, a.k.a. Hunter and his laptop from hell. Why is this huge news? Well, number one, because you have the AG of the U.S., Merrick Garland, potentially going down as the fall guy in this saga, but you also now have him contradicting a sworn testimony, which is a major no-no. You broke the law. And Democrats' favorite quote, no one is above the law. So obviously, if you've been following the news, you've been following this channel, you'll know the infamous quote, 10% for the big guy. And I don't want to go into the allegations wholeheartedly because I don't know if we're allowed to talk about that right now. But we are allowed to talk about the fact that this is cold, hard evidence that the Biden family was getting money from foreign nations. Again, they are busy selling us out while inflation soars, while gas prices soar, while unemployment goes up, while the economy goes down. Meanwhile, 
They're living la vida loco, baby. They're getting money from China, from Ukraine, from whoever wants to do business with them at the expense of America's taxpayers, you and I. It is, it is very damning, Maria. This is just the very tip of the iceberg. This uh, very brave IRS agent coming forward, I think, will um, will just start it. And I, you know, they're, they're talking about impeaching Biden. How could how could we not impeach Biden if this does, in fact, reach him? I, I wonder what their defense will be. Wow, how could we not impeach Biden? Leave your thoughts in the comments below if you think Biden should be impeached. I personally do if this finds the way up to the top like it should, right? There's probably a big crumb trail leading right up to the big guy. Maybe a big bag of cash somewhere along the way. But in all seriousness, I don't think that's a likely outcome. Thank heavens for us, we only have two years left of Joe's leadership. He's already destroyed the country. I mean, how much lower can we go? But I think this sets a major, major precedent for other whistleblowers to speak up. Let's take a look. So we know now that there's whistleblowers in the IRS that are looking out for themselves because if you go, everyone's going down. They're gonna take everybody down with them. That's the way this whole thing works. It's a ticking time bomb. But look at this report from April 21st from the New York Post. FBI reportedly sees, quote, growing frustration that Hunter Biden still hasn't been charged. As we can see here, NBC cited two sources reported that the FBI, whose Baltimore field office has led the Hunter Biden investigation, quote, finished the bulk of their work on the case about a year ago. And I'm sure that file needs 25 filing cabinets for all of the atrocities, all of the horrible sins and crimes committed by Hunter Biden. But why will that bring down Joe? I don't know if it would. He's probably going to walk out of this thing scotch-free because that's what happens. We have Hillary Clinton, scotch-free, all of that stuff. Nothing happened. Meanwhile, you got a guy from making memes about an election going to jail. That's the way the two-tier justice system works in this country. If a, if a good old boy from Tennessee, Maria, can, can read some of these documents and see just the, um, the ability to wash millions, and I'm not talking about thousands. I'm talking about millions and millions of dollars that have flowed into the coffers of the Biden family. Like I said, we know of at least eight. If, if I can look at some of these documents and see this, I cannot imagine how the Justice Department allowed this to go on, if not for corruption at the highest level. And they are in some serious trouble right now. I think they know it. They're in some serious trouble and they know it. I love that line. And yes, at what point though, is enough enough. How much corruption, how much greed, how many millions of dollars unearned just from selling out the country is enough? I think they're addicted, not to crack, sorry, Hunter, but to greed, corruption, and deceit. They have constantly sold out this country and I'm sick of it. And that's why I'm speaking up about it. And I hope, I hope that my viewers feel the same way. Be sure to smash the like button on this video. Make sure also to leave a comment down below on what you think of this story. It should be nationwide news, but you're not gonna hear it on any other outlet but Fox and but Reese Politics. Until the next video, be well and take care.